Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management version 2216. Today, Peppy's going to be demoing the safeguarded copy support, which will give you immutable snapshots for various types of storage. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Peppy. Hello, my name is Peppy Lam. I'm the product manager of Spectrum Copy Data Management. Today, I'll be going over a new feature that was added in Spectrum Copy Data Management. We've added safeguarded copy support. Now, users can now create immutable snapshots on their flash systems, SVC, and Spectrum virtualized storages using Spectrum Copy Data Management. Now, all the applications that Spectrum Copy Data Management supports will be able to utilize this new feature. Before I demonstrate this new feature, there are some prerequisites to create safeguard copies in Spectrum Copy Data Management. First, the Spectrum virtualized software on the storage has to be version 8.5.1. Second, any volumes that users plan to protect using safeguarded copies must be added to a volume group and configured with an external policy in their IBM storage. Once the prerequisites have been filled, you can start creating the safeguarded copies. First, you want to navigate to the Configure tab, go down to SLA Policies, select New, and then you can select IBM Spectrum Virtualize. Here, you can select the frequency of your snapshots. On this screen, you want to select the new feature, which is Add Safeguard Copy. Next, you want to select the volume group that you will be protecting. Then you want to set the retention. Now, this is where the safeguarded copy feature differs from other backup types. Once a user selects a retention, whenever a snapshot is created, that retention will be passed over to the storage. The storage will be in charge of managing the retention of that snapshot. Previously, SCDM would handle the condensed deletion of the snapshots, but with safeguarded copies, all those tasks are handled by the storage. If a user edits the retention in the SLA policy, the new retention will only apply to snapshots created after the edit. Moving on, you can actually add a prefix label to your snapshot. Next, we'll want to provide a name. And then once you hit save, you have a new SLA policy created for safeguard copies. To utilize that safeguard copy SLA policy, you want to navigate to jobs, select new, select backup, select the application or VM that you want to protect, and then select the new safeguard SLA policy. I've already created an SLA policy for the safeguard copy. One thing to note, as I mentioned with the prerequisites, the volume that you're protecting has to be in the volume group that's selected in the SLA policy. If the volume is not in a volume group, then SCDM will throw an error stating that the volume has to be in a volume group before it can be added to a safeguard volume group. Now, after you create the job, you can hit start and it'll kick off the backup job with safeguard or copy policy. Now, in the job log, you'll notice first, it'll look for the volumes that has to be protected. Check to see if it's a, in a volume group that's a safeguarded volume group and make sure that safeguarded volume group what was selected in the safeguarded uh, copy SLA policy. If it meets those prerequisites, then CDM will then trigger the creation of a snapshot in a safeguarded child pool. So I will go over the process of creating a a restore job from the safeguarded SLA policy. So first you want to select new, select restore, and then depending on your application or your hypervisor, you can select different options for your restore. In this example, I had a VMware backup with my safeguarded copy SLA policy. So I'm going to select instant VM restore, select the VM that I'm going to restore, select copy, and here, if you select which version you want, there's a new column which will specify that it's a safeguarded restore point. If you're using regular flash copies, you won't have the check mark that states that it's safeguarded. So select that one, select the destination, provide a name for the job, and then create the job. The process that CDM goes through during the restore is it'll first look for the snapshot in the safeguarded child pool. Then it will clone a new volume outside of the safeguarded child pool from that existing a snapshot. Then you'll use that new volume to mount it to either the ESX host for VMware restores or the target servers for application restores. 
Great. Thank you, Pepe, for the demo. Be sure to check out the other demos we have on Spectrum Copy Data Management. Thank you very much.